Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great because I'm doing great. I hope you had an amazing weekend and of course I hope your weekday is amazing as well. All right, now let's begin. So fun fact number 49, TV show review nine. I am doing Get Even. As usual, if you already watched the show before or you heard about it, then you're not hearing any new information, nor are you seeing it. But if you never watched the show before, nor have you heard of it, then hopefully I convince you to want to go watch it after you leave this video. All right, so let's begin. So first things first, I'm going to be telling you guys the plot to the show. All right, so Get Even is about four teenage girls from DGM, which stands for Don't Get Mad, exposed to bullies at their school. However, when one of the targets is murdered by an unknown attacker and holds a note saying DGM in his hand, the girls realize somebody is trying to frame them for a murder so once again that is the plot to the show get even is a british teen thriller series that premiered on bbc iplayer on february 14 2020 this series was adapted by holly phillips from the book series don't get mad by gretchen mcneil in august of 2020 the series was acquired by netflix and distributed internationally all right now moving on to the characters now the first character that i'm going to be talking about is olivia hayes and she's being played by jessica alexandra olivia is one of the four teenage girls part of the secret society dgm she puts a lot of emphasis on fitting in so once again this is Olivia. Why? At my house, we are. All right, now moving on to the next character now, which is Bree D. Winger, and she is being played by Mia McKenna Bruce. Bree is one of the four main characters and a member of DGM. Apart from being a prominent member in DGM, she is the best friend to John and ex girlfriend of Shane White. So, once again, that is Bree. Clearly, not as much as you. Have you ever actually considered having a personality? But I will find you your princess. All right, I'm moving on to the next character now, which is Kenny Way, and she is being played by Kim ADIS. I can't pronounce her last name, but that's how you spell it. She's the one playing Kitty. Kitty is the founder and one of the teenage girls that is a part of the secret society DGM. So once again, that is Kitty. Are you busy right now? Full time. I had a lot to prove. Right, I'm moving on to the next character now, which is Margaret Rivers, and she is being played by Bethany A N T O N I A. I can't pronounce her last name, but that's how you spell it. She's the one playing Margaret. Margaret is the daughter of an Afro american family who are very rich so once again this is margaret have you ever shut a door on something all right i'm moving on to the next character now which is micah i can't pronounce the last name and she is being played by emily carey micah is the best friend of kitty way the sister of rex i can't pronounce the last name and the second murder victim so once again this is micah all right i'm moving on to the next character now which is logan and he is being played by kit clark logan is the lead actor of the drama club ex-boyfriend of margaret rivers so once again this is logan I'm I was just passing and I, I thought maybe you... All right, I'm moving on to the last character that I'm going to be talking about, which is Amber, and she is being played by R-A-Z-A-N-N-A-S-S-A-R. -S -S I can't pronounce her first name or her last name, but that's how you spell it. She's the one playing Amber. Amber is the lesbian character and the girlfriend of Olivia, so once again, this is Amber. I would have told you that it's a stupid idea. I'm not stupid. One, I'm not. I want you. I want you to not disappear. Amber so I am done talking about the characters now let me give you my overall thoughts over the show so I'm gonna give this show an 8 out of 10 only because some parts of it was boring like some episodes some scenes were boring they could have gave it more energy amped it up a little or gave it some spice if that makes sense you know the overall show was not boring it was just some parts all right but besides that I like everything else the plot of course I like the plot that's what made me want to watch the show to begin with was me reading the plot the casting I love that the show actually casted like a moderation black girl i mentioned this on my channel before that when it comes to teen shows we typically are left out of them like girls who look like me we are typically never in teen shows and if we are we always like look a certain way you know of course there are expectations like riverdale and 13 reasons why but most of the time we're not included into popular teen shows so i'm glad that they actually did do that so i like that all right and last but not least i love the theme song all right the theme song is fire Typically, I will always skip, like if a show has a theme song, I would never listen to it. I would not just sit there and listen to it, I would skip it. But for this one right here, I did not skip it. The plot, the casting, and the theme song is perfect to me. I love it a lot, but I can't give it a 10 out of 10 because of what I said earlier. But I still recommend this show to everybody, especially if you like stuff like this, I recommend it. All right guys, so that is the end of this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you hadn't already done that. Comment how you feel about Get Even. Comment any TV shows you wanna review on i got you i love you guys so much thank you for watching this video and i will see you next time peace I know you're